Huh? Oh, me? Yeah. I am lo- I, uh, love the Steel Samurai. So tell me your, what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai. His kind nature, his fine skills, low power's action. Fine skills? Do have to think of something else. Really? I think it's my Spanish just first. Yeah, with this. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan- my fan album. What the? Is all the pictures of Steel Samurai? I got- uh, to every live performance. Those two bad uh, public stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a photo, a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. What's that? I got you. I never miss one. A perfect collection. I check it out. My new digital camera. <gasps> Whoa, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got this for my birthday. Oh, this cute. My other has a near one uh, here it to the Steel Samurai Path um, to Glory. That's what she. Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, Lee. <gasps> really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with the digital camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Well, then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. The Path of to Glory. Oh, that's such a. What's with the people uh, always giving stuff to me? Uh, why life? You were here on the day of this incident, right? Yeah. Do you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he, um, he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto for great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. I, I saw. I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. Oh, that's a... That's actually really cute. What do you saw? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What do you see on the day of the incident? Okay, the day around two. Two? What? Two, right? Two. I had to come in through the woods and, and out back to that old lady who would see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe a half an hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that, what is it, Cody? The steel samurai killed the bad guy. He used a samurai suit just like always. One shot and one kill. Whew. Yeah, so fast I should I got scared. I went home after that. I see. It must have been been hard for you. <laughs> Man, you saw those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Uh, right, Mia? Yes. I think we can say for sure this means the sale summary did. Sure enough. And the director has an alibi, so he was in hell. Indeed. So, the only person left who would have killed been is Will's powers. No, I bet. P tablet. Mm, sleep sleeping pills. He was actually sleeping, but... Mm, I have to admit, it's kind of a shock, but if you put this body, um, body on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. Yes, I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Oh, it's Gumshoe, right? Gumshoe! I heard everything. I was outside, and... I was outside of the door, and... <laughs> the boy here is a key witness, and he's under police protection staring now. Sorry now. Come on, son. You've got a right to us uh, with me. Um, with me down at the protect. No, I ain't going. You never gonna take me alive. <laughs> what? That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads, and now we have a serious uh, handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, um, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa. Come to think, um, come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that um, Mr. Pouse is innocent? I believe. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Okay. Now, tomorrow will be, like, or, like, the next day will be, like, the third day, and that'll be, like, the last of it, right? That'll be the last, right? I don't know how many episodes this. I could, like, predict, like, five to six, maybe ten. 
I won't. I won't know. October nineteenth. Uh, 9.42 a.m. Just call the defense lobby number one. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so so upset? Uh, happy. Unhappy, I mean. Uh, nothing. Really, it's nothing. Right, Mia. Uh-oh. She looks even unhappier, Phoenix. Your client is now um, practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly uh, defenseless. Yeah, if Mr. Powell says truly instant, we should be able to find some um, something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. Uh, can I never see, like... Oh, Powell could... Contains photos of every victory scene in every battle to see if somebody has won. Never mind. I thought we can actually look at it. We have to find something, Phoenix, today. Is that, um, is that or lose the trial? This isn't going to be easy. October 19, training in squad, lobby number four. Of course, I'm session for the trial of uh, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. An expected fact that has come to the uh, attention of the court yesterday, we learned that there were um, were other people present at the studio. Today, I would like to show you evidence pro proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if he will be that prosecutor or producer, I mean. Uh, the, pros the prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manuela to stand. Oh, that director. Oh my god, he's annoying. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and uh, profession? Uh, how wrong can Joe get? Joe don't know me. I'm the director, I make this uh, Steel Samurai new for all. Uh, Sal Manuela, I'm a director a, tel a director of television. Were you the global studio on the day of the murder? Yes, your honor. Okay, fine. Very well, please testify to the call about the event of the day. Phoenix, let's start by picking a hit this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone is not a uh, trailer on the day of the right? She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. The day of the murder! Let's do this! I was at the studio from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing a, an action scene run through. It took a, a lot more time than I thought it would. Okay. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the studio trailer, um, two trailers, so I ed ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around four. During the meeting, while well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Eh? The time of Mr. Powers' death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in the meeting at this time. Mr. Ray, you may... Okay, cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Let's do this. The day of the murder. I was at the store from around 9 this morning. Is that when you always come into, into work? Oh, 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 no. I came in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all the uh, freaks in your industry. Still, I was pretty busy all that day. <laughs> Even he has a sad face. Tell us more about that. During the, uh, the morning, I was doing um, the action scene. In the employee area. That's right. It was a fight scene between the samurai, um, steel samurai and the evil magistrate. Uh, was anyone else in the run-through? Oh yeah, that secretary, uh, security lady was sitting here watching the whole thing. Lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She secretly, she certainly has a lung spot. Lung spot. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. It took a lot, um, lot more time than I thought it would. How much? How long will be? Why would it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure Joe already heard about this. But Will Powers twisted his ankles during the run through, see? Alright, oh, that's the villain. Which of course led me to missing out on my lunch roofs. Roofs? Rolling on, rolling on the floor, starving. 
I heard that I went outside. I, okay. Why exactly did they have for lunch? Tea bone steak. The assistant cooked some milk. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on the plate area. Everyone else mean that the witness did not eat with them. But I have been eating the uh, studio chiller, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah. This is something about that seems odd to you. Oh. Actually, there is something bothering me. I don't know, Mr. Allen, just how. Just now you said steak out at least. So you ate something other than steak? Yeah. I have some chocolate in my pocket which I used to starve off starvation. I see. Is that all? I was sure. I was on the second round. Wait, what about the plates? That was two plates, right? Oh, I mean, what was the discussion? Still some my story and our budget. And get this, the sponsor turned to me and say, Mr. Manula, those scripts of yours are not appropriate enough for children. Can you just believe it? Actually, I kind of can. Okay, so nobody left the table during the whole meeting. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left the chair. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, yeah, no, no, I won. What's he spent so much about? I wonder. I wonder if I have an idea. Yeah, I'll wait for one to come up and I'll hit him with that player. Bring it. If it's all the past is finished, press him as hard as you can and find out what he's lying. Right. What about if we, uh, morning during the morning hours, the action run I took him more time than I thought it would. I read when I have lunch. What's that? I have a meeting? No, it would be that, right? How about if I press, like, Everyone else? Oh no. Oh, no, I thought. Yeah, it still seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Malia, hey, what do you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table. <gasps> yeah, there were two plates! The same kind of place um, as the ones in the ploy area. Who ate lunch there? Me! Yeah. No, uh, a good call. I uh, was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did it after that. T-Bone, you mean? Yeah, oh, well, I mean, the assistant went through an old trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I would create it there. There, clearly a man who likes to eat or suspects as much. So what exactly did you eat? We took one break during that meeting, or uh, folding down then. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break to the I mean that contradicts his testimony, I'll press on that one up a bit more. We were in the meeting room for during the meeting well I'm pretty sure no one left a chair. You didn't take a single break? Yeah well yeah, no no at all. Um, Wait a second. Maybe I have to. I have an idea. Press harder. Let's go. Wait a second. Mr. Hanley, you just contradict yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T bone stick during a break? Oops. Well. Uh. Mr. Hanley, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have done. Uh, going to a studio during that time, Your Honor. I call on the witness to testify on the call about this state break. Very well. But you mind only you testify test right, please. <laughs> oh ho ho oh ho. Edgeworth is laughing. The break. Yeah F W I will we took a break and it's only fifteen minutes. Fifteen, that's only thirteen base twelve. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. Like, that's just. There's only just enough time to eat stick. He asked me. Eh? 
I don't think it would have been enough time for that, but just, just for me. Very well, you may explain the cross examination. The break. Hmm. Speak English, please. Well, why exactly did you take this break? Uh, I say it was wrong. It was wrong around 2 3 or so until. Okay. 2 30. That's the time of death. So you could have gone to see your own kill cameras and came back. I guess it's possible time to waste. Wise. Wait for only 15 minutes. What were you doing for those 50 minutes? I eat my tea bone steak. What else? There were two, two plates on that table. Alright, the other one was Diva. Sorry, Divosquest's plate? Divosquest, the producer? The um, tea bone steak in 50 minutes. That's quite a feat. And not enough time for someone to say, Come on, murder. What is that? I mean, we had enough of this pointless line of questioning, Your Honor. This is my of this but has made one so in fact painfully clear. The people in this trial had nothing to do with this murder. It, if it was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. Wait, what? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting one of those people and surely went to Studio One. Well, Mr. Wright, Phoenix, this is a critical. Think about it before you give your answer. What? Do you cl Oh! Do you claim someone from the trolley went to Studio One? If I agree to let anyone in the trail off the hog, then the trial is over. This prize will be found guilty for sure. The victim was the two thirds of the exact hour of the break in the meeting, with 50 men were as currently as possible. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Basic. Never really done one with you, Mr. Wright. Why, man, why? Okay. Never a dumb moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Mr. Worth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. Court record? So you know that from 2.15 to 4, the path... The path between the two was blocked. Mr. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Eh? You're right. Oh, I forgot. To the break is the trail meeting came to the right time of death. However, what about if there's like another pass path between between studio two and one? The pass from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The following Mr. Monkey had barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edra has a point. And and somehow I feel so uh, desired to correct him. Oh no, I guess I'm free. I dare you! Damn it. I believe we have seen enough evidence. We would like to receive a from the stand. What? It's over? Very right, well. The core opinion about this case is follow. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of those people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relations to this course. Furthermore, the... the with regards to the photo of the seal samurai, given the size of the costume, no one could. Then Mr. Powers could have won in on the day, and that is Lacken's desire after that is one of the who did. We have that, I'm afraid I will have to find uh, Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, do prosecutions please do announce that we indeed have deceived evidence, a witness. Oh, they go bring the kid along. Oh no. Who is this? Uh, Witness, Mr. Edgeworth. My witness said the very moment when the seal summary skewed the victim. Oh, it's the kid! Or I will I will have all I see. The court will take a 10 minute re recess after which we heard your witness. Uh, court is adjourned for its reset. Uh, oh, no! Wait, he's gonna bring the kid! He's gonna bring Cody! We're screwed! What do you, what do, you do now, Mia? I think. No, I go. I believe that is someone from Studio Two, someone there who done it. If anyone in the trailer has an alibi, I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I I was wrong, Mia. Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me, don't get me wrong. 
I've never given up on the trial before, nor while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer have um, gone to, to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. Uh, that's all I hear it is. Uh, Arrow, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will pr prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai hero to children everywhere, after all. I. You. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one was, This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Ma, I got a feeling that he's gonna bring the kid along. He's gonna bring Cody into this. Corner is by session for the throne uh, will powers. The prosecution is concerned, um, concerned as our witness is a great scholar of a tens of years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defendant might cause unusual, um, unnecessary trauma, a uh, tantrum, a uh, trauma, I mean, with this cruel questioning as to see how it was taken the mall of higher ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hopkins to the stand. Well, shorty, your honor, perhaps you have a range of box to, <laughs> to stand on. <laughs> All right, gods, please bring him a box. Um, one of those donut cakes crates should do. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, well, uh, will the witness say his name and grade in school? Hello, <laughs> witness. Wow, just cut. Cause you're all grown and you don't you uh, push me around. <laughs> Edward, Cody, answer his questions, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady, the the one over there. I'm Cody Hopkins. I'm in the second grade, suckers. I know math. Two plus two equals four. <laughs> I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Okay. Please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be jumped off. Yeah, remember now. When us arrive, Cody. He's having trouble with the gentle thing. Uh, you were present at, uh, at the gold studio on the day of the incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell me why you saw that day. What pro- Oh, pops. You want me to tell you and Gramps with the board over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer a bro- What? A very long day. Instantly. Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like to special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had a bargain turn with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use that doll that good yet, but I bring it with me everywhere I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'll probably make a note in the court record. In your court record, it's kind of still, he's still learning how to use it. Oh, great. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw at the day of the murder, son. Okay. I want to see it. Do you share my rehearsals just once? I found a map on the internet and went to the studio that day. I went through the woods of the palace of the old lady and would catch me. I was going for the studio. I was gone. I got caught up, lost on the way through for like 30 minutes. When I came out uh, by the studio, there was a steel samurai. It totally rocked. Uh, right before my eyes out of the, that bag, I of course assumed someone took him down, but if I had my um, camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Very well. The defendant may begin his personal examination, but be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a kid. The case is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Ah, oh, this is going to be a difficult one. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm right, I want to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. 
You really like to see a samurai, huh? Yeah, of course I do. I tap to every show. And uh, I go to all the their live performance. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course, duh. And my dad always takes me. Oh, poor, poor dad. <laughs> Oh, I love him. I found a map on the internet. Wait, did they actually do that? What was that day the first day we've been to the studio? I actually, I've been a couple of times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. And that security lady always yelling. Right, right, please continue. Chill, Pops, I'm telling you to do it. How am I supposed to talk with you, Karami, all, all the time? <laughs> oh, I love, I love Cody. <laughs> Off the path. Yeah, you know how the studio are in uh, Bali there. If you go go off to the path a little, there's a woods that where I was. I see. How I, anyway, and anyhow, I was going for the studio. Didn't nothing un unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Uh, do you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So he went straight to the studio. I got kind of lost in the way through for about three minutes. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I was the blue studio doors. But guess what happens next? When I went to the, uh, to the studio, there was the Seal Samurai. Seal Samurai. Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looks like he was thinking about something before going, up, going in. Then he opened up the gate and went in. I see you. what the It totally rocked uh for my eye okay. Also a bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kinda of tall, skinny. Are you sure he was a guy? I don't know, he was kinda of far away. Uh, he's been awfully verge. Of course the sale summary took him down bow. Oh wait, no no, I have to impress. Okay, what happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, well, he kind of did move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro, white great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> if you had your camera, you mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have this all the time. Really? Wait, I guess seeing the killer freaked him out when he went home. Phoenix, remember he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. You use it for you to save. Oh. Oh. I shall do. Pass the clock. Continue for the question. I probably he asked one. A new teacher, Kevin Cody, always carries it through he though he's still learning how to use it. So it's gotta be like something like these. Either the path of glory. Wait, so. I want to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a man on the internet and went to the studio that day. I went through the woods of the path so that old lady won't catch me. I was going to the, for the studio. I was kind of lost uh, only for 30, 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a Steel Samurai. I totally rocked. Uh, it totally rocked right before my eyes. It came out of the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down, pal. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Huh. Will it be that? Contains photos of every victory scenes and... Will it be that? I think... No, I got it wrong. Your Honor, that I saved my cousin. Oh my god, oh, I got it wrong. A rule, I'm sorry. I... I don't know. Oof, that didn't... Uh, I got it. Oh, sorry. Of course I'm gonna take him down pal. Hmm. It blocked monkey. It blocked the path of the scene of the crime scene. Wait, what time did he arrive there? Anyway, what time did he get here? I got kind of lost. So time to two thirty. So uh, so he died at two thirty. The steel samurai. Oh, 
so he died at 2.30, so therefore it's still Samurai. So, at 2, so... So at 2... Huh. At 2... The monkey fallen between... T t uh, no. He f uh, the monkey fallen 2.15, but... Then they... Uh -huh. Will it be the monkey? I'm thinking about the monkey. Wait, present uh, the monkey. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, the six month. No, it does not. Oh my god. Damn it. No. Whoops. I was kind of lost for three minutes. I don't understand. <laughs> What is wrong? Oh my god, there's something wrong with statement, but where? Well, you won't catch me. So, it's gotta be doing something either the monkey, or the book, or the camera. Oh, unless I have to oh, contradict that he did have his camera on him, but he was still learning how to use it. I'm gonna try this one, but if I. If that's wrong, I don't know what what will. Yeah, you say he's still learning how to use the camera, so... Yes! Let's go! Yes! Koi, what, what you just said seems like a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera everywhere? <gasps> yes, you were quite clear about that. <gasps> Let's go! Woo! You understand that, right? Mr. Ray, we're with you. Huh? Was I putting the pressure on too much? Where's the digital camera copyright you're talking about? It's a bit digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I ex explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? You still learn it all. Mr. Wright, be gentle with kids. How cruel you are you? You terrorize a poor child, so I don't care if he's a child or a uh, prosecuting attorney. No one could lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting uh, attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I have my camera, so what? You, you got a problem with that? <laughs> oh, you see me in the box. So you got, uh, yeah, you can. Do you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Very well, please test by your car about what you were busy watching. Why well, saw? Oh my god, let's go! I need to watch out, yeah, yeah, my camera with me. But I was but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The sales summary goes for the bad guy, wham. Then then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong to steal samurai rules. <laughs>